global observatories have launched a joint monitoring campaign through early 2026 to study the object's behavior as it recedes from the sun. Let's get started. Since its identification in mid-2025 as an interstellar visitor, 3I Atlas has moved steadily through the inner solar system, passing its closest point to the Sun on October 29th. Around that time, astronomers recorded a sudden surge in brightness, suggesting intense outgassing as sunlight struck previously shadowed ices. Spectral data hinted at brief jets of water vapor, carbon compounds, and trace metals venting into space. While these phenomena are normal for comets, what caught scientists' attention was the pattern of the acceleration, not fully consistent with models of uniform outgassing. The object's motion showed small, irregular shifts, prompting researchers to refine its orbit and rotation models. Such deviations are not evidence of anything artificial, but they provide valuable insight into how interstellar material behaves under solar radiation. Despite the federal shutdown, NASA's internal teams at the Goddard Space Flight Center and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory have maintained essential tracking. A briefing with Representative Luna was scheduled to discuss upcoming data releases and to reassure Congress that monitoring continues uninterrupted. Luna's office confirmed that the request came in coordination with a Harvard scientist, understood to be Avi Loeb, who has been pressing for open access to the newest images. At the same time, the European Space Agency and several university-run observatories have joined the observation network. The object is now roughly 300 million miles from Earth and fading but high-sensitivity telescopes can still collect spectra to determine how its coma, the gas and dust envelope, evolves as solar heating diminishes. This phase is crucial. The comet's outward trajectory and changing light curve will help researchers model its density, spin rate, and internal composition. Those data will feed into the International Asteroid Warning Network's campaign, running from November 2025 through January 2026, which aims to build the most complete data set yet on an interstellar body before it vanishes back into deep space.